for marine creatures, sound travels faster than any other stimulus. It travels farther than any other stimulus. And it's not impeded nearly as much as light. I mean, light only travels through the ocean for a few tens to maybe 100 meters. Sound can travel tens, hundreds, thousands of kilometers. Uh, and so it's a very important sensory modality and one that, that, that animals rely on a lot. Two primary areas that, that, are, um, that I'm working on at this, at this point. One of them is broadly acoustic ecology of, of marine animals. And when I say broadly, I mean both the sounds the animals make and use in their everyday lives from humpback whale song to dolphin echolocation to pilot whale craziness where they make all sorts of just unbelievable sounds out there when we study them off Cape Hatteras, for example. So, so the sounds the animals make and use. Uh, other sounds that people make, and those range from, um, from sounds we make for research uh, to sounds we make sort of incidentally like ship noise. When I talk about offshore energy these days, there's, there's traditional, which is oil and gas, uh, uh, and that's really broken into two phases. One is the exploration part, where they're actually looking around for where they want to set up shop. Um, the other is the production side, and the production side is some kind of, um, some kind of rig, some kind of drilling platform, whatever, whatever it happens to be. One thing they actually have in common is that the early stages, the seismic air guns that are used to um, put sound into the water, to penetrate down into the bottom, and discover what's down there. The, for the oil and gas, um, it's a much larger um, array of air guns and thus a much, much louder sound, basically just because they have to get further down into the rock to find out where the oil and gas um, deposits are. One of the things that we're um, uh, developing, uh, and I'd like to develop more around the lab, is to use these in student, student projects and student experiments. We're actually putting together some uh, experiments with um, an undergraduate to go out and play sounds at oyster reefs because we know fish larvae, um, shellfish larvae like oysters and clams, they actually use sound as well as other cues to find where they want to, where they want to settle.